Good morning, fans, privateer FX. Coming at you 30 May, Thursday. It's holiday in most countries here in Europe, France, uh, Germany, Switzerland. Uh, Spain's still around, but of course nobody cares about Spain. Uh, and Italy is also still around, uh, so BTPs will be open today. Looks like we're in for a little uh, squeeze here, change in trend uh, today. If you look at the charts, they're all saying uh, risk on today. So let's have a quick look, see what, what's likely to happen. Here's the Aussie Yen. Tried and tried and tried yesterday to get through these lows, but down at 75.40, could not do it. Now we're 76.02. A lot of days of indecision, and it looks like uh, the market is going to breach the top side. Um, it really only gets sort of important above 76.40, but this thing looks like it wants to go higher. Take a look at dollar yen, sort of the same deal. We've had four days now trying to get through 109, the 109 handle. Printed three lows at 15. We had entries yesterday at 14, did not get done, uh, which was odd. Took a lot, uh, took quite a few um, tries at that level. We also had entries through 109, the figure, which is a super important level. But now it looks like she wants to uh, wants to head higher. Uh, there'll be there'll probably be some stops between 75 and 95 now in dollar yen, um, and just for a day trade top side looks like uh, looks like the way today although overall uh, we do favor dollar yen lower medium term and long term but today looks like uh, a squeeze is on one of the reasons we think this is oil crazy bar in oil I mean holy Hannah look at that traded down to uh, 56.88 but then closed back up at 59.05, right where it opened. I think it's a gravestone doji, whatever they call these things. Um, I do know that um, that is a turn bar, and so crude also looks like it's set to test higher. There will be risk um, above the 200-day at 60.28. There also will be risk above this high, 59.64. You're not getting long oil. Uh, it's very similar to the dollar yen idea. Today it looks like it's going to go higher, may go higher for a couple of days, and now we're just sort of expecting the top. This the top for this is going to be 61 bucks, uh, and now the new range will be sort of 57.61. So we'll expect some sideways uh, action in the coming days, but the top side is is at risk. Euro, we said yesterday on Twitter, between 45 and 25, uh, this looks like it's worth trying to pick the turn. Um, didn't really close, hasn't really done much, obviously we're just sitting here at 37, we've had a 10 point range overnight as usual. Uh, but you can see we printed the 25 low, 26 low, 30 low. 34 low. These are the little higher hourly lows. We've been up to 43. Uh, the point to watch, I think, is is 50, 55. This was the. There was some very decent buying yesterday between 50 and 53 that was obviously capped going into the fix, and then we went down to 25. This is where we were buying. Um, Buying euros up through 55 makes sense to me today, uh, and I do think euro is going to turn, and the dollar is going to turn in general. Aussie, same kind of a chart. As you can imagine, this thing looks like it wants to crawl higher now. Bunch of bunch of highs here at 36. The picture in Aussie is bearish. Uh, the story is bearish, but technically, again. The technicals and the stories are conflicting today. So the technicals are risk on, the story is risk off. Uh, so just be careful. Be careful. Let's go um, equities here. Could not.
close below the 200 day. We did hedge um, a portion of our shorts at 77 yesterday. It looked stupid for a couple hours. Now it looks less stupid. Um, we still think this thing is going to go down um, and get down through 2700 in the coming weeks. But looks like today we're in for a pause. Uh, we, but we do have uh, GDP, pre preliminary GDP out of the U.S., uh, which will be interesting. Also, pending how pending home sales and unemployment claims, of course. Um, so this will be very interesting um, data coming out of the U.S. Let's look at our trade of the week. Gold, not doing too much. Not exactly the sexiest trade of the week call. Uh, we're watching this 1287 closely. Uh, we'll be adding to longs there, and then we will be adding through a break of this trend line. Today could be uh, the day that gold does go higher if we get a weak GDP number. Um, did not react to the falling stock market yesterday the way I would have, would have liked it to. Uh, but as you can see here, we, we are now making a series of lower highs on the dailies, which is a moderately good sign, but it's really not doing too much, 12, 12.82. Um, just checking in on that. What else? Dollar CAD. Dollar CAD should roll over here with um, Euro, I think, also turning. Dollar CAD could not hold above these key uh, 135 15 highs we've been down to 06 today it'll get real interesting if we can get through 80 uh, and then I do think we will attack the downside with crude higher should make this easier if euro turns and you don't like euro dollar cad could be your horse uh, we've been banging on this drum now for I think one two three four five six days we like the short side in dollar cad the chart does not <laughs> is not collaborating with that obviously the move from 13350 up to 13450 um to 13550 is not exactly a beautiful short setup but we are waiting and looking very intensely for a possible turn euro dollar will give us the key uh and then uh we may pull the trigger on this dollar CAD uh, today. We also have Canadian trade balance, which, which could help. And Wilkins is speaking tonight, uh, 8.15 Swiss time. All right, I'll leave you guys with that. Conflicting, uh, the charts are risk on. The story out there is risk off. Crude is risk on. The chart, BTP is also risk on. Um, Let's see what we can do out there. Good luck, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.